Ito ang biyahe by DJ Lala Banderas. DJ Lala Banderas. Hi love, you are now with me DJ Lala Banderas uh, para sa ating programang Sakto Claro Derecho. At syempre, tatabi muna ang ating biyahe ngayong gabi na balik kay X kasi eto na muna ang ating biyahe sender of the night. Nag-disclaimer na ako kanina, this will be quite longer than the usual pero syempre ipupush natin to. So eto na nga mga kabisyo, ang biyahe ni Marvelous. Dear DJ Lala, itago mo na lamang po ako sa pangalang Marvelous. I have this special someone na matagal ko nang kakilala. Grade 1 kami nung una ko siyang nakita. Wow! <laughs> wow! So, from entry level pala to na elementary, sana hindi abot 40 yung kwento ah. <laughs> Grade 1 kami nung una ko siyang nakita. Grade 2, we became classmates. Bata pa lang po ako, ang isip ko nun... Pero, ah, bata pa lang po ang isip ko noon, pero alam ko na sa sarili ko, gusto ko siya. Mm, harot. <laughs> Early harot. As in, lagi ko siyang tinitignan sa, bang, sa bangko. As in, lagi ko siyang tinitignan sa bangko niya. Ayan, saka gusto ko lagi siyang katabi. Grade 2 hanggang grade 6, kaklase ko siya. Naging magkaibigan kami. Kaso grade 6 po, may nagawa po akong hindi maganda na ikinagalit niya. Like, I'm playing this person's feelings through dummy account. At naging dahilan para maging magkalayo yung loob namin sa isa't isa. Madaming regret sa puso ko noon dahil sinayang ko yung moments na maging bahagi ako sa elementary days namin. Hindi ko sinasabi sa kanya na gusto ko siya dahil hindi pa ako ready na malaman niya at hindi ko pa pwedeng sabihin sa kanya yon dahil baka nako-confuse lang ako that time. And then doon din yung guilt ko na magpinsan kami. Oh, just ko Lord. Kaya alam kong hindi kami pwede. I did everything I can for this person. Gusto ko talaga siya. Sumali lang ako dati sa table tennis dahil kasali din siya doon. Nung nalaman kong paborito niya yung cheese flavor, naging uh, favorite ko na din even if hindi ko gusto yun. Grade 7, nagkalayo na kami ng school at uh, feeling awkward pa din kami dahil sa nagawa ko before. Regret is really in my heart kaya nahihirapan akong mag-move on. May nakilala naman akong iba't ibang tao sa high school pero kahit anong pilit ko na sabihin sa sarili ko may gusto na akong iba, siya pa din talaga ang gusto ko. Siya yung gusto kong makasama kada nananalo ako o natatalo sa contest and competitions. Kaso parang masama na yung tingin niya sa akin. Hanggang sa hindi na talaga kami nag-usap. Grade 8, same thing. Siya pa din ang gusto ko at lagi ko pa ding naiisip yung mga old memories namin. At mas lumalala nung pandemic. Doon po nag-start na lagi ko na siyang napapanaginipan at sa panaginip ko po, okay na okay kami. Doon parang walang nangyari. There's also one time kasagsaga ng pandemic, I even thought na magstay na lang ako palagi sa panaginip ko dahil napakasaya namin doon. Kaya gusto ko laging matulog para kahit papano makalimutan ko na malungkot ako. Sobrang hirap nung time na yon nung natuto akong mag-pray, lagi ko na siyang sinasama sa prayers ko. April 2021, I decided na I, I decided na i-let go ko na siya. Isinuko ko kay Lord lahat ng burden sa puso ko noon at sabi ko pa kay Lord noon, Lord, alam mo ang laman ng puso ko. Pakawalan mo po ako sa bandages na pumipigil sa akin para magpatuloy sa buhay ko. After that, yun po yung first time ko po ulit makatulog ng maayos na hindi nagiging habit na isipin ang old memories namin. December 2021, I'm on the process of moving on. Kung kailan nag-move on na po ako, saka siya ulit sumulpot sa buhay ko. We became friends again. And this time, nagkakwentuhan na ulit kami. And then, nagsashare na kami ng mga kwento. Never ko pa din sinabi sa kanya na may gusto ako sa kanya. Re-remind ko lang ah, yung story ah. Pinsan mo to. <laughs> okay? Hindi ko pa din tanggap na may gusto ako sa kanya. Isa akong halimaw. Magpinsan kami at parehas kaming babae. Ayoko ng ganito. Parang kahit pilit kong tanggalin siya pa din ang gusto ko. Should I tell her or not? Should I tell her ba o hindi? Kapag sinabi ko sa kanya, natatakot ako na magsisi ulit ako na sinabi ko sa kanya dahil for sure pandidirian niya ako. At hindi ko na ulit siya makikita at makakausap. Kung hindi ko naman sasabihin, nakatago lang ito sa puso ko buong buhay ko. 
pero lagi ko siyang nakakausap. Ano po ba ang gagawin ko? Well, hi Marvelous! So, first and foremost, siguro maraming maraming salamat for sharing your uh, novel. <laughs> For sharing your story, maraming maraming salamat for sharing it sa programang biyahe. I'll go straight to the point, my love. It's a no for me. I know I am all for that honesty. I am all for that unloading yung burden ng heart mo. Pero there are certain truth kasi na we should keep to ourselves. Because it will do us more harm than good. Sabi mo nga ba diba, before, ibalik mo yung sarili mo dun sa panahon na ipinagpasa Diyos mo lahat. Na alam ng Diyos yung laman ng puso mo and you ask Him na i-unburden ka for whatever it is that's holding you back to the past. And He did. Ginawa niya yun. He, he, he came through sa'yo. So please do not let it go to waste, my love. You, you ask For his help, he gave you his hand. He showed you the way. And you are there. Andun ka na. Andun ka na sa part na ibinigay niya sa'yo. And this is it. Diba? God work in mysterious ways. Look at, look at this situation this way. Maybe this way, uh, it can help you see kung, kung ano yung dapat mong makita. My love, Ibinigay sa yung second chance for that friendship, second chance for that bond, second chance for that uh, relationship with this girl. Because somehow, the Almighty knew you needed that. Kailangan mo yan. It will make you feel happy, it will make you feel whole, it, it will make you feel fulfilled, and it will somehow uh, diminish yung feeling mo na nagigilty ka. Yung feeling mo na you hate yourself for what you did when you were young. Ito yung point of redemption na ibinigay sa'yo. And you have redeemed yourself. You have redeemed the friendship na minsang nawala sa'yo because of what you did. So do not let it go to waste by being, for the lack of better term, selfish. Kasi, This time around, you are only thinking about what you feel. You are no longer thinking about uh, what the other person feel. That person wants your friendship back. And nothing more than that. Kasi my love, pinsan mo yan eh. So para sa kanya, blood is thicker than water. Kapamilya ka niya. So whatever it is na nagawa mo nung bata ka pa, bata ka pa nun, you would, you should be per, uh, you should be forgiven for that. And she did. She forgave you for that. Do not wreck your current relationship with that person by being selfish. Just because gusto mong i-unload yung nararamdaman mo para sa kanya, even though alam mo sa sarili mo, nothing good will ever come out of it. My love, pinsan mo siya. It's not even about babae siya, babae ka. Panahon pa ni Kopong-Kopong yan eh. Doon lang tayo sa puntong pinsan mo yan. Doon lang tayo luminya and that will be enough. My love, whatever it is that you have right now, this is exactly what you've wrecked years ago. So you have to show her that you have learned from your mistakes. You have to show her that you have outgrown that immature, immature ways of yours. And you admitting, dyan sa nararamdaman mo para sa pinsan mo, is yet again proving how immature you are. Yet again, proving na even after all these years, hindi ka nagbago. You are still the same old deceiving person she met years ago. And that's not you and you know that. Mahal, nalagpasan mo na eh, yung, yung struggle before of sleeping. Constantly thinking about her. Nalagpasan mo na yun eh, you asked uh, ask for help and it was given to you. Again, do not let it go, go to waste because again, you are being immature and selfish. Naintindihan mo ko, love? I know you, I know you think that uh, ito yung one great love mo, this is your one true love kasi after all these years, siya pa din. Kasi haven't you think na, didn't you think rather na 
maybe the reason as to why after all these years, siya pa din is because you haven't really opened yourself up fully to anyone else other than her. Na siguro the years na lumipas na wala siya sa buhay mo and you are trying to open up yourself to other people is hindi nag-work because wala ka pang redemption dun eh. Sa nauna, wala ka pang, kumbaga, hindi, meron ka pang unfinished business. But now that it's over, the bis, uh, business is finished. You have said your piece, nakapag-sorry ka na, okay na kay ulit. Their relationship is kinda going back to normal again with her. Maybe that is the sign. Now you have to open yourself up to someone else na. Kasi you are healed. Okay ka na. Kumbaga yung parte na yon ng buhay mo, yung nakaraan na yon, finally, na-close na siya. Wala na siyang open-ended story kasi right now okay na uli kayo. Huwag ka nang bumalik sa kung paano ka nagsimula. You've gone so far. ba diba? ang, ang laki na nang naging uh, process mo, naging progress mo, and now you are okay. Wag nating sabutahihin yung sarili nating progress just because we are stubborn. Again, you know that nothing good will ever come out of it. So please, do not wreck what you have right now. Just because you are being selfish. Naintindihan mo ko, my love? I know how much you wanted to tell her what you feel for her. But I am telling you, yung nararamdaman mo, hindi yan yun. At least not yet. Siya pa lang kasi yung unang experience mo. Siguro siya yung nag-open ng gate na yon sa puso mo na you are interested. To, to, y- na yan yung preference mo. You are interested to a female. You are, or you are interested to a girl. Siguro siya yung kauna-unahang taong nagparealize niyan sa'yo na that is your gender preference. But that doesn't necessarily mean siya yung first true love mo. Naintindihan mo ko, my love? That can be given to someone else. Your first experience can be given to someone else. Wag lang, wag lang natin ipilit yung alam natin bawal. Just because feeling natin yun yung makapagpapagaan ng puso natin. Naintindihan mo ko, Marvelous? I just hope na wag mong sabutahihin yung sarili mo. Again, you have gone so far. Wag tayong magpaka-immature. If you really love that person, if you think you really love that person then do not let that person um, do not bring that person to an awkward position wag mo siyang ilagay sa alanganin wag mong ilagay sa alanganin yung kung anong meron kayo just because of your own personal reasons you'll at, you'll outgrow it promise yung ganyang klaseng um thinking you'll at, you'll uh, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> you'll outgrow it but for now Enjoy mo lang yung company niya. Nothing more. O diba, we can love a person, we can uh, um, sabihin na natin, be there for a person, care for a person without having a romantic relationship with them. Show that you, show that person that you can, you are really capable of unconditional love. Starting with you being a friend sa pinsan mo. Naintindihan mo, Marvelous? I hope it helps, my love. You are still young. You'll experience a lot of things. Do not let your first experience be a traumatic one. Okay? Love,